We only have about five, six minutes left with Lou Dobbs, obviously a very busy man with a syndicated radio show, writing columns, CNN every night with his uh, number one uh, program in that time slot. Uh, so I want to move quickly here, sir. Uh, the, again, the new book is Independence Day. Everybody needs to get it. It's excellent, and it's rocketing up the charts right now. Uh, Lou, I want to talk briefly about yourself, growing up in Texas, your life, uh, getting into the media, being a journalist. When did you start waking up to, as you say, the new world order and these elites and the last five, six years really turning the heat up on them? Wh what was your awakening to these elites? Uh, my awakening to, to and, and by the way, I, I just want to make it very clear, I am a capitalist. I believe fervently in this free enterprise democracy of ours. Uh, and but this isn't free market under the globalist system. Well, it certainly is not with in terms of that. I'm talking about yes. in terms of its you. ideal. Yes. And the reality is uh, that this this country is what has created the wealth throughout the world over the course of the past 40 years. Uh, this great economy uh, has driven just about three-fourths of the wealth generated in the world over the past mm. 40 years. But my awakening came on September 11, 2001 in which I saw the way in which this government reacted and responded and failed to stop that vicious terrorist attack. Um, it came in 2001 when Enron collapsed. Uh, with the corporate corruption scandals of 2001 and 2002 and the way in which corporate America refused to work in the national interest and to look to the common good, but rather uh, to try to maintain and preserve uh, a world without regulation or responsibility. They made it clear uh, that they could care less about this nation. Right, absolutely. And uh, the multinationals uh, who are going to participate in this $13 trillion, the world's richest economy, uh, have to take responsibility and take leadership. Instead, they have hidden behind the business roundtable, the, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the lobbying organizations, and it's seldom you'll hear an individual CEO stand up and speak on any issue involving our society, uh, our people, uh, or the national interest, leaving the voices, their voices, mm -hmm. still in favor of uh, the efforts of their lobby, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Lou Dobbs, since you bring up 9-11, I want to read a quote here instead of just playing the audio. This is Lou Dobbs uh, on your national CNN news program. The fact that they would continue to, per to perpetuate the lie suggests that we need a full investigation of what is going on and what is demonstrably and incompetent, and what is worse, a deceitful federal government. You said that months ago. Now it's come out that the White House was manipulating uh, the 9-11 uh, Commission, which they appointed, of course. Uh, they first tried to give us Kissinger. What are you talking about uh, incompetence versus deceitful federal government surrounding 9-11? Well, I'm talking about, in this regard, I'm talking about the idea that we give George Senator a gold medal while the CIA failed to act intelligently and responsibly to stop that attack. Uh, I'm talking about a government that continues almost seven years after September 11th to leave our borders wide open uh, and our ports uh, insecure, with 95% of the goods entering this country uninspected. Uh, it's unconscionable. At the same time, this president, uh, the Democratic leadership in the, in the House and in the Senate, all cl <laughs> claim to be concerned about this, uh, the American people's safety and welfare during a time of war against terror, and yet they leave our ports and our borders wide open. Uh, that's deceitful, it's dishonest, and it's irresponsible. So That, that, that brings me uh, to my next question. Uh, it is such a manifest fraud to have the banks uh, accepting consul matriculas that you can get out of a Cracker Jack box right. for, for illegal aliens. Bush trying to give $140 plus billion dollars to Mexico for their military when it's been all over Texas papers for a long time. Now it's finally a national uh, news that Mexican troops shoot at Border Patrol, come across, grab drug shipments away from sheriffs I've interviewed that have had Mexican troops stick uh, German machine guns to their heads and say, give us the marijuana back. Can you, sp I mean, all this is going on, and then meanwhile they're setting up internal checkpoints to, s to search Americans and check our papers. Well, it's unconscionable, again, what this administration, this government, this Congress, uh, and we the people have permitted uh, in, in allowing the Bush administration to have effectively further reduced our sovereignty and the respect for our laws and certainly uh, regard for our borders and our ports. It is, uh, it's been a shameless, shameless uh, period 
in American history that we're going to have to reverse. Doesn't that show that they're obviously not too concerned about a terror attack? And I guess if one happens, that means they get even more governmental control uh, if they don't stop uh, those uh, further attacks and leave the border wide open? Uh, you know, Alex, in terms of trying to figure out what in the world this president and this administration is thinking at any time, if indeed they are thinking, is well beyond my limited capacity. Lou, last they question. Are absolutely unfathomable. North American Union, we saw it in SPP documents a year ago. Now they admit I, that they're merging the Canadian and U.S. military for domestic operations. Your final comment? Uh, that if people do not awaken to the, to the absolute threat to this nation's sovereignty posed by the Texas Trans Corridor, uh, the NAFTA superhighway, the North American Union, uh, under the guise of the so-called security and, <laughs> and prosperity partnership among uh, Canada, the United States, and Mexico, uh, then this country can kiss its future goodbye because uh, it is precisely what's underway. I think the New World Order is going to be defeated in the end. And I do believe that if the American people awaken, we can do anything we choose, including uh, sure that this, this great nation uh, bestows its uh, blessings on succeeding generations of Americans. But we have to awaken, and we have to do it soon. All right, Lou, thank you for the time. Thanks, Alex. Bye -bye. Take care. There goes Lou Dobbs, ladies and gentlemen. That is one busy man.